What's going on, everyone? This is Jamel Jones, the real estate alpha wolf, and welcome to REI Reply Success. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to show you guys the two ways how to upload all phone numbers uh, to your REI Reply account. Now, the first way I'm going to show you, it's not it's not recommended because you can't market to these numbers when you upload them. But if you are the type of person you want all of the phone numbers to be under one contact, then this is the way that you need to upload it. <clears throat> upload your list, right? So first of all, let's go over to a list. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to upload phone types and everything too. So this is a test list that I did. And clearly I don't have any phone numbers and stuff in here. So um, what you would do is uh, from your, your skip traced file, whatever phone one is, you'll just name phone, right? And then phone type. You want to create, I don't know if whoever you use to skip trace gives you data on whether or not it's a cell phone or a landline or, you know, a VoIP number or anything like that. All right. But they should. So um, you want to name phone type one. And you probably won't have these phone statuses and all of that, so just ignore those. But you want to name phone, phone two, phone three, phone four, so on and so forth, right? That's how you want to prepare your list. And you want to make sure that um, whatever you have in here, cell or mobile, I, I, I like to use mobile, uh, make sure that that's, that that's there. <clears throat> and then over inside of REI Reply, what we're going to do is go into... Um, custom fields. And what we're going to do is we're going to create more phone fields. So we're going to do phone two on down to however many you are uploading. And then we're going to do actually not text. We're going to do single options. Phone two type, and we're gonna do mobile and landline and whatever else you wanna do. And you're gonna do this, phone two type, four phone three, phone three type, phone four, phone four type, so on and so forth. I'm not gonna do that just for the second time in this video, but I'm pretty sure you understand, right? So let's go into uploading the list. Going to go into contacts. Upload. I'm going to grab the list. Probably going to take a few seconds to populate. I'm going to pause until it comes back. Now, um, I've got to leave this blurred like that or YouTube is going to trip on um, exposing data and not let the video get uploaded. But essentially um, in here, if you created the columns inside the CSV file correctly and match them with um, your custom fields, everything should auto populate. Um, just look through and make sure it does. And if it doesn't, what you want to do is phone in the CSV. You want to match the phone in um, REI reply and then phone two, phone three, phone four, you know, phone five, all of those. And then you want to make sure you match the phone types with um, like phone type one match with phone type one over in REI reply. And then you just go through and upload the list, right? So uh, now I'm going to show you the way that I do to upload <clears throat> um, lists, which is create multiple contacts for the same exact uh, property. And this is because inside of the REI reply system, you cannot market to phone two, phone three, phone four, phone 100. You can create a million of them, but you can't market to any of them. The only things that you can market to is phone, right? So I upload everything to phone 
And the way that I do that is I upload the list multiple times. So if I've got a list, a skip trace list that has five phone numbers, I'll upload that list five times. Mapping phone inside of REI reply to phone inside of the list the first time, and then phone and REI reply to phone two inside the list the second time, and then phone and REI reply to phone three inside the list the third time, and so on and so forth. And what's that's, what that's going to do is it's going to create multiple contacts inside of the REI class system, but it's going to be separate contacts with the same name, if that makes sense. Like they're going to have the same name, but it's going to be separate contacts because it's going to have a different phone number. And I do not recommend uploading emails with the phone numbers. I, I recommend uploading emails separately the same way you would for each individual phone number. And the reason why is because I've actually had this problem before. Um, you skip trace with different people, right? Some, some you get emails back, some you don't. If you get two separate phone numbers back with the same email, or let's say the same phone number back with two different emails, REI Reply will read that as two different contacts. So let's say you got... Five one uh, five 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 one, and the same thing with five 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 two at the end. Um, well, actually, the same phone number, but you got two two different emails, right? So, um, when you go to market that 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 person is going, let's say that person says like, "Don't ever text me again." It should D and D them, but it's not going to D and D the other contact with the same exact phone number because it has a different email address. So the system will read it as a separate contact. And so you could potentially get in trouble if you if you add that person to another uh, cold call campaign or another SMS campaign because they've already opted out of the system. But REI Reply didn't read it because it's two different emails. So anyway, long story short, if I were you, I would not upload email addresses with phone numbers. I would do them completely separate. And then once you get the email address from the person, then add that to their contact, if that makes sense. Right. So anyway, uh, again, I'm Jamel Jones, the Real Estate Alpha Wolf, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.